A bit of sad news to report out of the pro wrestling world as the world mourned the passing of Leon White, better known to the world at large as the Mastodon, Big Van Vader. Now, I will always attribute Vader for turning me into wrestling that was non-WWF in his clashes with Ron Simmons, the man they called Sting, as well as Mick Foley, or Cactus Jack as he was known at the time. Their match in Germany was actually responsible for Mick Foley losing part of his ear. Gruesome, I know. But just to tell you just the versatility of Vader, this is a guy who could take off his ring helmet, make it go into smoke, and then scale the turnbuckle to deliver a devastating, devastating moonsault. A guy that was 450 pounds delivering a moonsault to a hapless foe. And if that wasn't enough, he finished them off with his patented Vader Bomb. Now, to really get a full spectrum of the evolution of the character of Vader, I actually went back to ESPN Classics, some of his AWA footage as the baby bull Leon White, and you really get an appreciation of how far he came as a wrestler. Um, and, I mean... A bona fide legend in Japan, uh, winning the All Japan Triple Crown, which is one of the most prestigious titles in all of pro wrestling. But that might not do it for you. Please, please share in the comment section below your thoughts of the man they call Vader. And as always, it's Vader time. I can't do my fingers out yet. I think I did. There we go. It's Vader time. And that, my friends, is According to Woods.